Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We are all over the Trump indictment tonight. We just got more breaking news. Folks, before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, those little things help us out and they help our channel continue to grow and spread important information like this. First of all, the former president himself has spoken out. He has replied and responded to the indictment by Joe Biden's Department of Justice. Again, we're talking Banana Republic stuff here, folks. When you indict your leading opponent for the next election, that is absolutely Banana Republic stuff. I want to go live, well, not live, but I want to show you the video when it was live of Harris Faulkner talking to former President Donald Trump's attorney. She has a lot to say, and I think she hits the nails all on the head here. Then we're going to go to what Trump said in response to this indictment. Let's take a look another. Can you talk about that a little bit, like what's coming down the pike potentially? Sure. I mean, these are cases, and as my client calls them, witch hunts, that we have been handling since, uh, frankly, for him, since 2016. For me, I'm going on year three now, and I, I can tell you that we are used to this type of battle. It's a different battle. It's not just in the polls. It's not just about your policies. It's about fighting corrupt DAs. It's about fighting corrupt AGs, like you mentioned. It's about people that know they have judges on their side and they won't have a real conversation about their cases, about lawsuits, about strengths and weaknesses, because they don't need to, because they have people in their pocket, because they're there for political gain and political animus. And that is un-American. And the truth of the matter is that I I hope, I hope for my profession that we can get to a point where we can take these indictments, go to court, show the evidence, show that this is absolute garbage and and go on a normal litigation track as any other mm -hmm. client would be entitled to do. But I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Are you surprised that this came down? I mean, I don't know if you heard Congresswoman Nancy Mays, who who had predicted this actually a few days ago. She said that just watch on the day that Republicans in the House on the Oversight Committee would get that FBI document that would show some evidence, according to Republicans on the Hill, that this current President Biden had committed acts of bribery to the tune of millions of dollars along with his son, Hunter. And she said, I would not be surprised and predicted that it would happen on the same day that they would get that document that we'd see an indictment. And in fact, she was right. What's your reaction? Look at the shiny ball. That's what this is. Mm. Look at the shiny ball. Don't look over at what we're doing. Don't look at what Hillary did with her computer. Don't look at Clinton and his drawer. Don't look at where we're storing things. Don't look at the fact that Biden has documents in Chinatown or that his son has a drug addiction and also got bribes. Don't look at any of that. You know what we want to look at? Our biggest fear. Look at him and think he's a bad man. Well, guess what? You're only emboldening his base and the American people. And the American people are not stupid. They know what is happening yeah. and they are going to see it and they're going to take it to the polls in 24. Heather, I haven't Our seen it either. Our country is going to hell and they come after Donald Trump weaponizing the Justice Department, weaponizing the FBI we can't let this continue to go on because it's ripping our country to shreds. We have such big problems, and this shouldn't be one of them. It's a hoax. The whole thing is a hoax. Just like Russia, 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 just like the fake dossier was a hoax. You saw the Durham report. You saw the Mueller report. It was all a big hoax. You had two impeachments, and they lost, and we won. And we had tremendous support. But that was a hoax and a scam. And now they're doing it again. It's just a continuation, seven years. I'm an innocent man. I did nothing wrong. And we will fight this out just like we've been fighting for seven years. It would be wonderful if we could f devote our full time to making America great again. There you have it, folks. A dangerous and dark day in American history. A former president and the leading candidate to take on the current president indicted. This is the stuff you see in third world countries. It's a shame it's happening in America. Folks, again, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.